What is going on YouTube? Welcome to today's vlog. Yes, I am doing a vlog today because I have been wildly sporadic with posting things. Even shorts, I haven't been doing that much. This video will kind of get into that as to why. Sort of the direction we're going to be going because things are a changing. As with life, it always evolves. Let's look at some 360 footage because, I don't know. I feel like playing with it. I've had it and I haven't had it on the bike more than once. So time to get some footage, right? But anyways, let's go for a ride. Talk a little bit. All right. Let's see what she feels like. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of speed. So we're testing a few things out here because I decided to change where my mic's at and my helmet. It's a little bit different. See if I can get this stupid thing to work. When I say stupid thing, I'm the operator, so it's only as dumb as the person pushing the buttons, right? And that would be me. <laughs> yeah, I have this 360 camera and I wildly underutilized it. I mean, I use it for a few videos there in a row, but not much since then. I honestly just haven't had the time to put stuff together. <laughs> oh my God, what a beautiful day here in Arizona, an evening I should say. Sun's going down, sunset, uh, it's just gorgeous. It's riding in my backyard pretty much. <laughs> what has been going on? I hope the mic's good. Let's see, I started my NBA. I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of work going on with that. On top of that, my media company and my consulting company have officially launched. I've done some work with some clients already. And honestly, it's it's kind of awesome. It really surprised me, sort of the feedback I was getting with that. And you know, what's really cool is I created that company because of the work that I actually did with YouTube. I wouldn't have done all this filming if it wasn't for the stuff that I do now. So while one only X Rooms as a channel may not grow or really do kind of what I had envisioned initially, it's allowed me to play around and practice and and perfect some skills that you know I, I don't know that other than this channel that I would have even tried because you know why would I? But I found a, a joy and a passion for video and photography. Photography was really surprising. I didn't think that I would sort of dive into that as much as I did. But I dig it. It's it's super fun. And then the editing side of it, I enjoy the most because a lot of people don't. But I do like to put my own spin on things and sort of make things uniquely mine. And what's been really cool is some of the clients that I have really don't put a hindrance on that. I've heard some nightmare stories, which is sort of why I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, of people that were like, well, yeah, they they want this, and then they're like, well, you know, let's, well, we like it this way instead. And they don't like the creative person be creative. That has been the case with me so far, and I'm, I'm really stoked for what I have coming up. Also, I may or may not still have this beast in the summer we'll see uh the goal is to keep both but hey things come up stuff's expensive uh the v4r is the direction i want to go i'm doing a lot of track work i don't really ride the street all that much other than stuff you see here and quite frankly the street just does not excite me anymore there's so much crap on top of that, the type of riding that I do, you have to be a hooligan, and I don't know, I got a lot going for me, so <sighs> losing a clearance and all that crap just isn't up there on the list of things to do. So I'm introducing a lot to the track, and before r is supposed to be the pinnacle of that. On that note, I've been sort of tossing around the idea of building a track only bike yes because even though you're going to, be able to track to ride at you know the limit because it's a safer way to do it 
I still don't ride at that limit. I ride at the limit that I feel the most comfortable at that I don't chuck the bike down the road because obviously I don't want to throw this thing down the road and not have it. So, track bike, track focus, I chuck it down the road. I feel a lot less terrible about it because this, I mean, that's what its freaking purpose is for. So yeah, a lot of things in the works. I wanted to do a vlog. I haven't done a vlog in forever. We just ride and talk. That and I wanted to show you the countryside. Uh, see what the 360 camera did, but you know we're we're moving at the grand grand speed of freaking slow as hell. But hey, whatever. There's a reason why I don't really speed through this particular area. There's a lot of stuff like this. Oh man, it is so gorgeous out. I really hope my audio doesn't suck. He said I moved the pads around. Oh, I want to say if you're in Arizona, Tucson specifically, on any moto now has a showy helmet fitment center. And really it's a little kiosk that if you have a showy helmet, you can go and they can adjust the pads you have and put stuff under like between the lining and your helmet so that your helmet fits your dome better. I did that and it feels so, so much better. Like it fits my head so incredibly well now. Like it fit really well before, but it's even better now. Jesus Christ, everyone is out here. Everyone who's anyone's out here, bro. <laughs> oh God. We'll just turn it around. Yeah, that's literally it in a nutshell. I have two companies rocking and rolling. Really happy about that. My schooling is deep and heavy. I'm, I'm also really excited about that. You know, I, I've been going back and forth with going back to school uh, for a graduate degree and a master's. And I took some time off for my last couple of master's class because I, I wasn't sure that one that particular direction is the way I wanted to go and two if it was really necessary and you know a lot of people say heck no it definitely isn't this business you just gotta go out there and do it and to a very degree I absolutely agree to that point however I I like to know what I don't know <laughs> and schooling lays a specific foundation that I am not comfortable with not having uh, given the direction I go because a lot of what I do is very very technical and my consulting deals with engineering expertise so I kind of have to be on a certain level <laughs> in order to talk to them in a way that makes them believe that what I am offering is beneficial so yes schooling is very important oh something else is really cool that I am doing is I got a vocal coach because I found that as much as I've been talking and presenting and doing stuff like that, my voice has been straining. And, you know, I actually asked a friend of mine that does this stuff and speaks for a living and goes, no, why in the world would you do that? And for him, he probably didn't need it. And probably for a lot of people, they don't need it. But for me, I find that I learn best from professionals and finding a vocologist um, was really a smart thing to do because... They, she has been amazing and has fixed so much in so little time. We're gonna stop here for a minute. Cause Jesus Christ, there are just people fucking everywhere. You're even going over the WL line. I'll see if I don't get hit.
relatively cold, fresh tires. And then the most dangerous part of this entire hill is this right here. And that's probably about the extent that I would run this hill right now because there is so much traffic. People like that crossing the double yellow. It's just not safe. It really isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along with me on my vlog. Hope you all have a wonderful start of your week or week. Whenever I put this out, I have no idea. I'm recording it on a Sunday does not mean it'll come out on a Monday. <laughs> But with that, you all have a good one. I'm out. Whichever camera.